Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Saturday, the 20th of April 2024, and we have got the first slot of Sons of Horus figures in from the Warhammer the Horus Heresy line from Joy Toy. Lifefully licensed from GW from Games Workshop. These are all beaky heads, so they look absolutely fantastic. I'm loving the look of these. Very, very cool. Let's have a look at the boxes. So we have your, this is your, is it Mark 6 Tactical Squad? Legionary with a Nuncio Vox, I believe. Looks very cool. This is the sort of Space Marines that I remember when I was first getting into like a Warhammer stuff with the beaky helmets. Very, very nice indeed. Loads of things in there. Looks fantastic as well. I'm loving the look of that. I'm pretty sure they've got lots of sort of nice, appears to be sort of inking. I'm pretty sure the inking won't be that good on side, but maybe GWLin will surprise me. They've been slightly better on these compared to the uh, recent 40k releases. And these say, these say they are 12 centimeter figures, so it's interesting to see. Uh, this one's the one of the Legion Vexella. And then we have the Sergeant with Power Sword here and Plasma Pistol Gun. And now the legionary with the bolter and chain blade. Don't fall over, Sergeant. Ah. Which is the last one. Yeah, it looks very, very cool. Again, similar contents. Okay, I'm going to unbox them and set them up. I'll be back in an instant. Do stay tuned. Don't. And here they are. Uh, just very quickly set up and they are better looking actually in the flesh than I thought they would be it appears that they're sort of airbrushed or have some sort of fading on the paintwork we'll have a look at that in a moment first let's look at accessories so they all come with I think all except the sergeant if I'm right have a quick check on that no I'm telling you like they all come with five extra hands not three pairs five extra hands so I've swapped one around already already. They come with the default, well, the default right trigger left gripping. They also come with left and right fist. You get the opposite left uh left ah, left trigger and right gripping. And you also get a single left semi-open hand for gripping the guns. I've changed his hand already. And all of them except the sergeant come with this little gun too. And they all come with this stowed gun. Uh, little one, I don't think you can take. Oh, you can think about it. You can, t can take out the, uh, the ammo there. And likewise, you can on the big guns as well. But obviously not on the sergeant's plasma. plasma gun. Let's get a close look. Before that, consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of your screen now. You get to see all the videos before they're published on YouTube. Exclusive content from time to time. Also, a prize drop. We have one happening this month, which is April 2024 so i've got 10 days to sort that out there give or take okay so we start from left to right so we start with the legionary with the nuncio is a nuncio maybe vox he's got a slightly different head sculpt as we can see he's got that extra part there maybe nice looking you can see maybe better out the light the extra light sorry but we're quite difficult to see actually if you can look on the uh here and on the hand you can see the different coloration which actually makes it and this is the only one that was broken i should say his pauldron the glue has failed i can glue that myself though i may ask just for a replacement to be sent i'm sure these are better glue but i should have said that first yeah this one has a slight issue with this pauldron but you can see especially around the foot part there that coloration which looks really nice um Inking not really there. You can see there's no inking around these parts on the feet and ankles, which is a shame that would have made it pop a lot more. There is, I'll say there is, I'm trying to find an example where there is inking. It seems to be lacking a lot. Inking would really make these details pop a lot more. Now, these individual grenade here can be taken out if you want to. That We saw that on the back, and so can this one here. But they're going to have that little sort of pin that pushes in on it, which is a shame. And you can take these off too. But it's a very nice looking figure. I love the beaky helmets. The backpacks look great too. 
Let's stick him over there and let's put that rest that pauldron back on there. So let's go to our next one. This is the legendary, is it Vexilla, I think? So I'm getting him the small gun. I just put the other one with the strap over his shoulder. Nice looking. You can see there on the on the legs, the thighs, the, the coloration difference. But again, it's lacking on inking. I mean, with this color, it's not as, uh, what's the word, bad, I guess. This And with that faded color, it really sort of makes a big difference. But putting ink in it would have made it super premium. Okay, Sergeant with the power sword. Now, my issue with him is you look at that plasma pistol of his. So that great big seam line down the center inside, like, yeah, that ain't good. But he looks good. There is a splodge of inking in those little vent things on his beaky helmet. That's pretty much all there is from what I can tell at the moment. Saw looks nice. It's a nice looking figure. And then last one with the bolt with the chain blade. Again, he looks good. But they're looking a, almost a bit too cartoony, but that's also catching the essence of the early releases from sort of Rogue Trader days and when Space Marines first came out and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. And the eyes, I should have noticed that earlier, they're sort of a Almost like a metallic red, which is pretty nice. Okay, let's have a look at size. So I'll measure the guy on the right and then the sergeant. Let me put the sergeant's legs a bit straighter first to get more accurate measurement. Since he's going to be slightly taller, that plumage on his... Uh, Quite an angle. That thigh twist does not want to move on it. I mean, does it? I like the hot water treat that. Okay, so so the guy on the right. In fact, he's got his gun in his arm down first as well, not to obscure our our look, our vision. They said 12 cm to the top of his head. I'm going to say is about right. 12 cm. And top of the sergeant's plumage, we're looking at about 14 and a half cm. So top of the head on this one is just a touch under about four and three quarter, or maybe a little bit around that sort of mark inches. And top of the plumage on this one is coming on five and a half or a little bit over five and a half inches. Articulation is going to be the same on all of them. So I will show with this guy here. In fact, it'd be best on him if I take his pauldron off, he get more range of motion. Okay, let's get this off. It'll be similar to many things that we've seen already, so I shouldn't think there'll be any surprise. I will turn the extra light off for this one. So it looks left and right. Backwards, there's hardly anything up. Down is small. That sort of gets in the way. The side to side is pretty good, though. Uh, the nozzles should be able to rotate on the back there. Shoulders will be all around on these little ratchets. There is a shoulder roll, so you can bring your shoulder forwards or backwards, which is really nice for some of the posing. But the lateral rate of these pauldrons is absolutely terrible. They're, they should really attach the pauldrons from the bottom by a little barbell, so it can have lots of motion. I mean, I could take around the back. I mean, you look at something like the minuscule 135, 135 scale Archicore figures. Who almost look like Space Marines and big pauldrons, and they can get their arms really high up. So Jordan needs really needs to sort of re-engineer this, I think. So that's not great. The bicep bend, however, I should say there's a bicep swivel as well. The bicep bend, depending on which sculpt they've gone for on the upper arm and the forearms, is normally very good. Look at that, well over 90 degrees. That's a great bicep bend. Then we've got the double barbell, double ball joint here. So we've got great range of motion. Re rephrase that we can move in all directions not quite as much as having a jointed hand but i kind of prefer this system for this sort of a 
chunkiness. Then we have the trunk, so his backwards, forwards, forwards is pretty good, side to side. He's got a waist which he can turn, side to side small, forwards, backwards as well, together. Sculpting gets in the way there, but he can lean forwards. He can have a very nice backwards lean. Is the bird, is the plane, etc. His side to side together is not bad as well. Legs is going to depend on these parts here, but I think they're going to really impede. His, yeah, look at that. Really impede his articulation of that, or slightly cut away, get a lot more on outwards. Forwards. It's going to go out to the side slightly, but it's not too bad. Backwards. That's about as far as you're going to get any more neck, and it's going to complete to the side. So together is not too not too shabby. There is a fighter. Oh, now it's moving. The fighter is moving now. That one's moving too. I said loosened up when I was moving something. It's got the double knee. I'm going to show the other leg. It's got the double kneecap. So it's really quite tight, but it's, a, it's not too ugly in the knee. And then the foot, as long as there's no changes, we know we've got the uh, double barbell, so it's a turn, it's a swivel, it's a tippy toe, a dorsiflexation, and we should have the toe articulation too. Very stable figures when they stand up, and something I really do like. They, do, they all come with bases, I should say, those clear plastic round bases, but they don't really need them. Okay, let's do a comparison to a couple of other figures just to get an idea. So I'll start off with a Horace Heresy Imperial Fist Tactical Squad, who I like. I mean, I think the breaches are probably my favourite from the Imperial Fist so far. And you can see that they, as you'd expect, they scale well. They look to be maybe a touch taller. Well, perhaps I just the optical illusion may be the same. And then I'll use 40k, I'll use a uh, Ultramarine's Judica. Was it a Judici? I have no idea. Anyway, he is here. Let's get the stamp a bit straighter. And you can see that they are, again, about scaling the same. So pretty good. Nice first releases of the Sons of Horus. I do like these. I can't wait for actual... Horace and Abaddon himself. That's going to be fantastic. But still going to be a few weeks away, I would imagine. Having said that, they are churning these out quite quickly. Because basically, when they show us stuff, it's already in production. It's not like we have to wait a long time. They're already in production. So it's not a huge amount of wait. The issue with that is if we spot mistakes, often it's too late for them to change them. Okay, nice figures. Another decent, nice, cool release from the... Joy Toy in the Horus Heresy range of Warhammer figures. I do like these. Very cool. Okay, let's uh, wrap this up. Hope you like the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Consider joining the Patreon. And I'll see you next video soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.